lot of help. You know, we, 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 were, we were very fortunate and proud, I must say, I think it was the first time in Johnston's history to have a former first lady and presidential candidate when Senator Hillary Clinton came to town. That was, I think, the highlight of my career, and that was thanks to, obviously, Senator Reid and Senator White, who I'm going to introduce in terms of the Then we had the misfortune of getting a hurricane, and we lost the Mill Street Bridge. And thanks to Senator Whitehouse, Senator Reid, and Congressman Langevin, uh, they did one up, and they brought uh, President Obama's Secretary HUD, Sean Donahue, who came to the bridge and said he was going to fix this, and he did. He kept his promise, and we got federal mon money for that. But what I'm trying to tell you is we need the gentleman that I'm going to introduce. He's worked so hard for us. You know, he started six years ago, and I remember we had the headquarters on, 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 that, on, uh, on the Hartford Avenue. And he made a commitment to, to all the people in Johnson. He would be there for them. And he has not broken his word. He has been there for us time after time after time after time. So we need your help. We have to get Senator Whitehouse reelected. It's, it's important. It's imperative. It's imperative for all of us as elected officials. It's imperative for us as, 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 as good Democrats. But it's imperative for our children in the future. So without further ado, I want to introduce my good friend, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Very, very good to be here with Mayor Policini, with Mayor Lombardi, with the local representatives, senators, city council members, candidates. Johnston runs. Johnston runs right. Johnston runs right not only as government, Johnston runs right as politics. You know how to be organized, you know how to get the vote out, you really do a wonderful job. And it has been my honor year after year to have the support of the Johnston Democratic Committee and the Johnston uh, Democratic uh, leaders. So I am very, very proud to be here. We do have a big fight on our hands in Washington. There are things that shouldn't even be on the table, like cutting Social Security. But they were talking nonstop about cutting Social Security until I helped found the Defend Social Security Caucus, got 30 of my colleagues involved, and were enough to be a blocking minority, and now nobody's talking about cutting Social Security anymore. So what are they talking about? What are they talking about instead? They're talking about cutting Medicare. They're talking about cutting Medicare. They're not just talking about it. They passed a budget in the House of Representatives that gets rid of Medicare in 10 years. Instead of Medicare, you have now voucher care. They'll give you your voucher, and then you get to go out to the health insurance industry and try to get a deal. If you're elderly, if you're ill, how many health insurance companies do you think want to take you on as a liability? If you're 85 years old in a nursing home, who's going to actually negotiate for you when that voucher lies next to your hospital bed? It is a wild idea, and yet those are the ideas they are pursuing. So this is a really important election for all of us as Democrats to hang together, to hang tough, to re-elect your wonderful establishment here in Johnston, to re-elect the mayor, to re-elect myself, to re-elect Jim Langevin, who fights so hard every day. There's nobody in Washington I'm prouder to serve with than Jimmy Langevin. If you think about it, that guy has a harder day every day than I have on my worst day. And yet, what does he do? He gets up every morning and he goes down and he fights for all of us every single time. So I'll ask for your support for Jim Langevin as well as for myself. I look forward to working with you all. Thank you, Johnston, for always being there, for being strong, for being Democrat, for being organized, and for really getting it. Thank you very much.